the melody going on under the <laughs> vocals, which are different. That's the cool thing about um, solo cello is, you know, just trying to make a lot of stuff happen. I've been getting to that lately. Whereas, you know, I mean, level one of, uh, of accompanying yourself singing or kazooing or barking or whatever it is that you do, level one is just playing chords. Like, you know, like when, when, when it's a classical accompaniment, you know, like the company to perpetual motion when it's just like boom, pluck, boom, pluck, or boom, pluck, pluck, boom. It's the boom, pluck method. Uh, it was uh, come up with by Wolfgang Boompleck, an <laughs> unknown musician who only specialized in minimalist accompaniment, who was uh, very inspirational to Kandinsky <laughs> and Hilma, whatever her name is, the Spanish one. <laughs> was going along with my life and trying to write songs and do my cello whatever beastliness and you know, a lot of whatever it was all muscle and chopping and but then when I discovered the bounce you could see how you could fall in love with that and then get addicted to it and then realizing that it's a whole uncolonized continent of of uh, Boeing really then have to spend all my time for the last six years figuring it out and um, you know seeing where it would go which is to a lot of fun places so let me just show you the first one that I figured out was by accident let me just try to recreate the accident there I am sitting at my mom's house because musicians live with their parents because rent free you know <laughs> and I was making up this I was like oh. get into these swing things, you know, where you try to try to get a real hard swing and make it feel real good. And then something happened, and I was like, what? What was that? Something that you should all do, you know, you are you're doing long on the down and short on the up, and they're off the string. And you just and it's a uh, very enjoyable and cathartic to swing that way but what happens is that there's room for the down to skip and still hit the up in time still thinking in just like down up 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 and it just like goes like a little bit angled on the down to make the and the thing is that this should be uh, taken as not just specific to this but to all potential technical explorations which is that because that happened then so many things were possible you know one tiny crack in the wall and then the whole thing is going to come down <laughs> because why <laughs> because if you can go like that i can do that and i was like well if i work on it i should be able to go dun -dun -dun, and instead of just going another down because like my mind couldn't handle going dun -dun -dun, any more than that you get ready so that you go dun -dun 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 -dun, and you do it twice in a row twice in a row, then you should be able to do it infinitely. And your 
you're doing two low and one high. So you get a back beat. But you can do it twice as often. then I'm like, well, dang, what else can you do with that? And uh, if you turn that up bow into not just an eighth note, but into another, into a quarter note, then you get in four, uh, a, a reverse gallop where you get. could I do one on an up bow? And you know from playing that you probably could. So then I'm like, okay, well, then you get a gallop, which is more of a... Uh, minded explorer of a new territory and you found this puzzle piece that goes da -da -dun, and this other piece that goes dun da dun what would you do? What would you do with them? You would bring them together and make one that goes what? How would it be then? How, how would it go if you put them together? If you married Mr. Da -da -dun and Mrs. Dun -da -dun, what would their children be? Da -da -da -dun. Dega, dega. Four in a row, right? So you get, and then, so because you're doing two on the down bow, and then on the other one you're doing two on the up bow, and so it's just a matter of time, but this is the weird part, is that because it hadn't really been done that much before, it took me, it took me a couple years before I was able, before the popcorn popped, so to speak, and I was able to combine them smoothly. just that. It's doing a down bounce and then an up bounce right after it, but to get it to go smoothly. And for a long time, I could only do one, and I'd be like sitting there being like... in about 2013, right? And then it wasn't, I mean, 2013, yeah. And then it wasn't until 2017, actually, what is that? Four years that I could do um, an infinite one where, where you go. Now it's as easy as anything I've ever done. It's very relaxing and it feels great. It's the first thing I do when I pick up the cello at the airport, get it out of baggage claim, there's people standing around, and I'm like, all right, let's see if this thing works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
if I went through all the possibilities of what happens. But when you find out that that's possible to connect him, and then you also have the triplets, and then you also have from, then you start multiplying it by all the other techniques and uh, that you have from before, like like my mutant technique, for example. Because, uh, like, that's good for for playing like medieval rhythms and like very like kind of square stuff. But if you want to play a syncopation, then you got to figure out some other stuff. And I knew from before, from chopping, if you're going, and here's the thing that you can do. It's like, uh, <laughs> you're uh, going like this. <laughs> just going like this. And you're going to make rhythms come out by just muting with your left hand. You know, I mean, it's like how you do it on guitar and just drumming. machines so you don't think about it it's just doing its thing it's just going along and then everything else happens you know somewhere else basically um, so then I was like okay well one of the, there's very many combos that you can do and I can just discuss a few of them let me see to make a syncopation if you can do it like that then in 2015 I was like well you ought to be able to mute on the bounce, you just have to do it a lot faster because it's instead of you have plenty of time, it's happening a lot faster. But eventually, I was like, wait, oh, yeah. things in DNA, you know, but, and it's also the name of my practice mute, mutagen, um, but it's also the name of that bounce. And the other thing you can do is when you have fours, and you, you know you can do triplets too, well you can do triplets in four, and uh, so you can be like, uh, you know, squish it a little harder and then it turns into like triplets so if you're like It's like, got to come back down to be like, how is that musically useful? Well, you want to make a fluttery thing. It's like dicing up carrots, you know? You don't always cut carrots the same way. Like, sometimes you want like a whole, like, 
steamed carrot or a whole roasted carrot and you know, put it in your mouth or one a raw carrot, you know what I mean? Or like dicing it up really thin or it's the same thing with music. Like sometimes you need the notes to be like <laughs> is a way to go 3-3-2, three, three, one of the most standard syncopated rhythms. Dick -dick 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 you know, with my uh, Indian heritage, they're all like And I needed to find a way to play that stuff so it wasn't all just like Germanic medieval. <laughs> <laughs> so, but there's a problem, and you cellists can appreciate how an up bow doesn't quite get the same accent as a down bow, right? It's like, it's like, especially when you're off the string, it's like hard, especially when you're bouncing. If you ever tried to bounce now, so my problem was I could get. That's just a triplet and another triplet and then two thirds of a triplet. But then you're sitting there and you're looking at doing it backwards. And it doesn't quite register, it like throws you off. It's like riding a bike and then riding the bike backwards and then trying to go forwards like with the fish like in your head and you're like, oh, man, you know. Um, weird stuff, but. I found, I, I was like determined. I was like, I know this is gonna happen one of these days. And I spent all winter of 2017 trying to uh, get that going. And I was like, how, could, what if I could just, if I was doing the down bounce and there was a way while it was bouncing that I could reset my hand and do another down bow. And so I was like. And then I was like, okay, I made it to down bow. And if I could make it to down bow, that, then I could make it to down bow bounce. Just like the other thing, where you just have to like get yourself mentally ready enough. And then sure enough, I was like. And at first it was like, and there was like a little gap in there. So I just had to practice the metronome, slow, whatever, close up the gap. It was a very enjoyable process. Just like, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. And then finally I was like, oh yeah. only do a few but that's really cool and then that opens up a whole other series of possibilities um, for things like um, doing only downs if you can do if because you can go that's a down bow and then there's another down bow right after it that means that you should be able to do infinite down bows in a row and of course then eventually I figured out how to go funny is that I was watching some classical videos by that dude David Finkel and he was explaining all the bow strokes and I was like whoa that is actually like a classical bow stroke called sautile or whatever it's called that they actually do so it's tight that there's a little bit of a um, you know crossover there but I sometimes I do it real relaxed like this it's just down bow and it works out really good because I my most inspirational style of music in this whole figuring out the most advanced parts of the bounce has been death metal and they play these beats called the blast beat which is where you basically have 16th notes and they're just played on different parts of a, of a drum you know like one's on the hi-hat one's on the snare but it's like and so it like sounds real weird like the music's coming apart because like one's like off one 16th note so that's how I it's called blast bounce let me see if I can play my song Summon the winter cow. Sweet, 
to do a normal bounce. A normal bounce would be like... So then, once you start getting all these techniques together, then it becomes about phrasing and accenting and dynamics and switching stuff up. Um, for example, yeah, if you're doing a thing that's like... It's like dun, 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 the, the, the accents are kind of happening like this, but if you want them to go e -e 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 and be like kind of more intense and in your face, then it's like you do that. And it's like. Then it relaxes a little bit. style of music, um, which helps me because I feel a little bit guilty because people are always like, oh, we're going to go see cello. And everyone, the first thing people always say to me is like, I love the cello. It's such an emotive and dynamic instrument. And then I'm like, oh, I know what you want me to do. You want me to go. <laughs> shows I pretty much just do the bounce the whole time because that's what I'm into oh. and then so like but that's just like that's just like the default that's like the ground level and then on top of that you can build all kinds of stuff if you have a lot of ways to do it and so okay one of the coolest ramifications of discovering this perpetual down in order to facilitate going the three 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 two is doing a really satisfying waltz bounce or a three four bounce so here you have you go down up down and then do it again And so then the cool thing about that is you can, um, because you're doing down, up, and then a down that connects to a down, you have three different ways to do it. And you could, you could do down, up, down, or you could do down, down, up. So it's like... See now, here's normal. There's down, down, up, down. as useful as the up down down up down down makes a really nice waltz so you're like uh so i have 
have this song, let me just show you real quick, where you take a bass line. lately is to uh, try to throw triplets into there and then that would sound like another vocal number to keep the children engaged now, <laughs> and that's no props. Here's one of my heavy metal songs that features a little bit of a bounce, and we'll go into a waltz bounce to show the other way to get more notes on the waltz when you're doing ups. Okay. It's a <clears throat> heavy metal song again. <laughs> Can you say it? There 
Tracking sometimes and figuring out, hello, blessed child. Uh, realizing that along the way of progress, it's like when I climb a tree, it's like I'm always climbing to the top, but then you see that there's all other areas and other worlds to explore. You know what I mean? It's like if you just went from New York and the settlers were like, yeah, let's go to the farthest edge, and they found California, but they totally missed Texas. How much of an oversight would that be? Right, yeah. You know what I mean? So, Texas and Minnesota and North Dakota and Washington. There's all these other places. For example, one thing that took me a long time to realize until like maybe just last year was uh, I was always like trying to, you know, when you're getting the backbeat. That's good for like a. It doesn't give you a very good backbeat because you're on an up bow. So I was like, wait a second, Rashad, why don't you just reverse it so you can get the strong down uh, back, you know, the backbeat on the down bow on the strong one. So say if you have a bass line. Just so people think that it's from Earth. 
Well, it's got antennas that look like antlers, pretty sneaky. It's got microphones that look like ears, pretty rad. It's got cameras that look a lot like eyeballs. It sends messages back home to the land of death. Round, a big, big, bow, round, round, a big, big, bow, round, round, a big, big, bow, round, round, a big, big, bow. California with my road viola. If you guys are serious about learning the bounce, I definitely recommend getting a road viola. It's a cellist best friend. And what it does is it allows you to work on bowing while you're driving. Let me explain. <laughs> I mean, the thing about music is, you guys probably know this to be true, but let me reiterate. And this isn't to say that I am somewhere, because I'm just like, I don't know, I'm just the flailer in the wind trying to do my thing. But I think that if you really want to get somewhere, if you really want to make some progress, you got to get obsessed, you know what I mean? Where it's like the main interest in your life. If, if it becomes that way, then you will do anything. Whatever the main interest is, is in your life, you're gonna like base your whole life around that and make that happen. So for me, it's the bounce. And that means uh, bouncing in the car. You got your right foot, you got this ch the viola on the seat right there, you got your foot on the gas, your eyes are totally on the road, and your whole mind, except for about 3%, is focused on the road. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, what's the difference? You're, you're holding your phone with your right hand and talking to your mom or whatever, versus you're sitting there and I got my left hand on the wheel and I've done it on windy ass roads, downtown, downtown LA, rush hour traffic, and all like a bunch of major metropolis places. And you're just uh, you're just sitting there going. <laughs> then you're working on reverse bounce or three bounce. And when you get to a stoplight, you get rewarded with notes. Mm. But it's not much good for that. Now I have it also uh, tuned to the AC in my car. It makes a drone, so we're like. Sometimes I'll just sit there and just be driving down Long Street Road and be like, and I'm gonna keep my eyes on. You know? But that's how I came up with this thing called the hot bounce. I'm not sure I can do it right now, but it's like. 
so you go you throw this hop in there and anyway it's a good chance to like do the basic block blocking out of the rhythms so that when you actually get to the cello and you, you find that you've made progress and then you throw it a mute in there and then the, the hop bounce will sound like this Simultaneous jowl. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two for one. I'm wondering if you can see like I'm like a kind of like a dopey guy in a way like I like walk all pigeon toed and stuff Does it make me look too pretentious or like cool? Oh, so <laughs> does it make me look like I'm like oh, Rocket. Yeah, yeah Rocket. I'm good at Burning Man oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm good at Burning Man yeah. You always have the greatest pants Oh thank you Your pants are the best Thank you Oh my god Yeah my mom buys me the pants She's got a good mind Okay here we go Helmets that has like a chin part chin that's guard, a strap, yeah, yeah. Like, a, like a made out of rubber or something, and that chin guard will be on there tight, and I'll be able to use it like a capo at will. Oh, it'll be like a head. Yeah. 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 I, what? There I think. I think it'll be a good idea, right? You feel yeah. there? They're very yeah. nice. Then. Okay. So chin now guard. I would like to take this opportunity, guard, right? um, having done that, to uh, show you one of the most recent and exciting bounces. Now, wait, who would like to operate the bounce menu? Okay. <laughs> so now... He's like, I get the bounce menu. Okay, so you uh, choose a bounce, and it'll happen, and then choose another one, and then after a few, we can start to see if we can do a combo. Mutagen. Mutagen. Okay, and uh, what type of key would you like? Any key? Uh, how about D? D, major? D, major. 
And what, what type of D major? Mixolydian or Lydian or just normal? <laughs> D major Lydian. Lydian, okay, nice choice. Okay, so we got a D major Lydian, and Lydian is the mode. It's like a really mystical one because it has a sharp four. Okay, so mutagen, and in three or in four? In three. Okay, so you got a mutagen bounce in three. In D, Lydian, how would we do that? That's great. I'll now show you the wiggle. What the wiggle is, is, you know, when I was figuring out how to do, you can do two per, and then if you squish it a little bit, you can do three per. Right? And then you can do four per sometimes. how they keep degrading like the first one is strong and then the other three are progressively quieter and weaker so I thought well how awesome would it be if you could find a way to accent it in the middle without changing bow and so I worked on it this one was like this Mar this February I found out how to do this so you're doing four you're doing down and then another down and then up and then another up by doing this weird fish wiggle you basically like, pretend your hand's a fish and be like... And because the down is so strong in it, it really makes sense to do a reverse wiggle. And it gets this nice steady kind of surfy beat. be able to do triplet wiggles like but but then you can do uh so then wiggle bounce comes in 2x 3x 4x 5x and 6x let me show you how that goes here uh, uh, so here's 2x which is and here's 3x which is really good for like Thank you. 
not just technical like I'm saying along the way you got to find a musical value for all them and like a thing that it does and to me what Wiggle Bounce does say this Wiggle Bounce 3x for example I have a song that I'll play now called Grinning Who of a Thothaloo it's all nonsense language of course my own language that I've been making up which is another one of my streams of trying of like the source of creativity comes through in new techniques, new melodies, new rhythm, and new words. You know, at times, wherever you focus, it'll pour that forth, which is very cool. It's something to be eternally grateful for, but it is also very fun to uh, make up vast streams of words and then memorize them. This one is a list. It says, Grenning who of a Thothalu, Grenning who of a Mythkame, Grenning who of a Pythorqua, Grenning who of a Pithkape, which of course rhymes with a Mythkame. So it still has structure. It's not just random. <laughs> and, then, and then it has verses which switch into a different bounce. So the chorus is over, it has a melody under the thing and it is in, a, it's in the three bounce. <laughs> into a reverse, a reverse three, four bounce. So it helps if you start it on this, but okay, I'm gonna demonstrate what the wiggle bounce does under the lyrics. So if you play it normally in waltz bounce, which starts on up. Can you hear the melody? And 
and then you're like, well. <laughs> Can you guys hum the melody that's going on here? Concentrate for a second. Let's hear it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, I guess it's really registering. Okay, I'm gonna quit trying to play melodies. Ready to go? 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 Ready to